What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Harrison, and we got some we got some Nintendo news to talk about. Uh, a few days ago, IGN came out and said that Nintendo, Xbox, and Sony are not going to be at E3 this year. And big surprise for Sony, they're they haven't been at E3 in a very long time. And Xbox, while they've usually had some floor space, they they have they own the the theater right next door to where E3. Is normally held at so they, they will have something um i'm pretty sure going on while e3 is going on so they can get that you know that attention they just won't have any physical booth space at e3 so we'll definitely see something from xbox but nintendo is not going to be there and at the time you know it kind of made sense maybe they would just do their own direct but now another report came out from ign that said that they had initially thought about it but ultimately decided to not participate in E3 because they didn't have anything in the latter half of the year. So we, we've kind of assumed that Tears of the Kingdom would be the, the kind of the swan song for the Switch. That would be like the last big game. Obviously, we've got Pikmin that's confirmed um, for this year. We just don't have a release date. And, you know, that while I'm, I'm excited for Pikmin, uh, I don't think it's going to do... It's not like a gigantic game for Nintendo. It's not going to sell insanely well. Tier, Tears of the Kingdom definitely will. So, that being said, now I'm not so sure that we'll even get a typical, like, June Direct now. Like, we're still waiting to hear for the February Direct. Who knows when we'll get that news. Um, I'm, I, I think the Direct is going to be next week. That's what makes sense to me. Um, because typically they, they do their directs like on Wednesdays or Thursdays. I don't think we'll get one, you know, Friday. That, that's kind of like, you know, two days from now. That's kind of weird. So, so that being said, you know, if they don't have anything else that's huge, that then lies when, you know, when, when does the next Switch come out? Are they going to, is it really going to be coming out, you know, holiday 2024? Or are we going to get it a, a little bit sooner than we expect, like in, in um, spring of, 2024 that, that's that's my prediction um i think it'll at this point gosh you know and in, in, in just to do like a, a minor prediction for the direct you know i i don't think i think this direct we're gonna get coming up we're not gonna get a lot of new stuff i think we'll get trailers for for kirby the new bayonetta game obviously tears of the kingdom we we might we might get Metroid Prime Remake and have that come out pretty pretty soon, and then maybe in like the September direct we'll get a proper showing of Metroid Prime Four. That that's my prediction. So yeah, that's that's kind of a bummer. I mean, obviously we want we want a lot of directs, but if Nintendo doesn't have anything for the latter half of the year, you know what can you do? I, I think we'll see a lot of. I think we'll get our February direct for Tears of the Kingdom. I think we'll get our September direct for their fall stuff, their fall lineup, um, and to kind of sprinkle in some stuff for the next year. Maybe we'll even get the Harbor announcement of that September direct. I have no idea. And I think for the rest of the the year, the summer and stuff, we'll get sprinkled with either direct minis or partner showcases to kind of hold hold us over. Or heck, we may even we even get like a random Twitter drop. Like, hey, you know, Pikmin 4 is coming out, you know, in July. You know, here's, you know, Metroid Prime remake announcement or something like that. I think, I mean, I feel like the Metroid thing would be at a direct, but, you know, who knows? Nintendo's kind of crazy. Uh, and then lastly, uh, briefly I want to talk about, is Nintendo is bringing back their, their game voucher deal. They stopped doing it, I believe, a couple of years ago. Um, but basically, it's, uh, it's for $99 or $100, and it's really cool because you don't have to do it all in one go. You can, and as long as you do it within a 12-month period, you can buy one a game, and then, you know, wait a few months and then buy buy another new game. So it's it's digital only. So for someone like me where I like I do like to collect a lot of physical games on Switch, I don't know how often I'll use this, but for cases where I don't really care about having physical, uh, you know, like maybe Kirby or something like that, I can I can definitely use that. So if you plan on already buying Switch games, it's good to go ahead and get this voucher. That way you you have it locked and ready to go. And then uh, you know, you can save you know, 20 bucks on a game. So, all right, guys, well, um, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about that. Uh, again, just a little bit more speculating about when I think the new Switch is going to come out. But 
uh, some pretty solid evidence on Nintendo having a pretty light year and this being kind of the swan song for the year. You know, we could get a bunch of like random, you know, other GameCube remasters. Maybe maybe we finally get the Zelda remasters that we've been looking for. Maybe that that'll be like their holiday games or something along those lines. So let me know what you guys think. Um, give a thumbs up if you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all in the next video. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Consider subscribing to the channel. I'll let YouTube algorithm pick one of my videos below for you guys to watch. Give it a, give it a click, and I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next video.